Hello, 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 and welcome back once again to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. I am here with my friend Jack. Hello. Me and him are going to be doing some of the campaign missions. Thanks to a kind uh, commenter on one of my videos who so helped me... Uh, find these campaigns because I was wondering what these were at first and as I can see here now this is called legacy content and all of this is based off of the many different stories that are available to play so with the release of New Light there was two DLCs that came available me and my friend have made an agreement here that I would at least do the Red War and then we would jump over to Shadowkeep because he so kindly had delivered upon me a digital copy of Shadowkeep. Thank you very much, my friend. It's no problem. It's not very fun to play by yourself. Just gonna see that now. Hey, that now. that's totally understandable. I I can I can uh, accompany you on that statement. Um. All right, so I'm going to accept the mission. Legacy: The Red War. Humanity's last safe city has fallen to an overwhelming invasion force led by Dominus Gaul, the imposing commander of the brutal Red Legion. He has stripped the city's guardians of their power and forced the survivors to flee. You will venture to mysterious, unexplored worlds of our solar system to discover an arsenal of devastating weapons and powerful armor. Got that working too. Homecoming. Alright, so we've got the quest step. Now we need to know where to go. Well, what do you know? It's right there on my map. Big red icon. Ooh. Oh. Hold Ooh. on. That doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? It says there's too many players for this activity, yet it says a fire team of one to three players. Hold on. Maybe I gotta grab the quest real quick. <gasps> I might have to grab it as well. Maybe? Alright, now I've acquired it. Um... No, actually. Still says, unless this is like a starting activity that I have to do alone. Probably. Yeah, this is the very beginning, so you probably have to do it by yourself. Alright, that would make sense. So, if you'd be so kind as to leave the fire team. Yeah, this guy remember how to leave, because I always forget how Press to leave. Press tab. Okay, tab. Hold O. Oh, right, right. I, was, I went to the map roster. Yeah, okay. I did that right, once. All right, thank you very much. So, I'm going to start this off. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it together. Which means I'm going to have to do it too. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think you'd have to, actually. Well, I mean, if oh, I want to cinematic. the same. Yep. If you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? Ikora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. And comms have been spotty for the last few hours. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Hmm. Maybe it's just the storm. Maybe it's... What are the set feeds telling us? Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean, they're not there. There are no satellites. And that's not good. Battle stations! Every 
Ooh, man, that's nuts. Very. Those are some very good cinematics, too. And of course, Kid comes in. He thinks he, he can take it all in by going <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Here we go. More cinematic. That moment when your gun somehow gives you pretty good stats. What went wrong? No response on any channels. Even the emergency frequencies. What is going on back there? Remember when I told you that you fly too fast? Forget I said that. Fly fast. <laughs> Remember when I told you you fly too fast? Forget I said that. Fly fast now. <laughs> I love the person he's letting the ghost just takes back what he says. Uh huh. Oh man. I can see what happened to the traveler. They're wrecking that thing. Yep. You will say it. It seems so sad. I think I'm in. You oh see, wow! I would I would have loved it if New Light actually didn't get didn't get rid of the opening, like this. Mm -hmm. Those people are acquainted with the game. Pretty right. pretty straightforward off the bat, but you know, it kind of gives them a taste of what they're dealing with instead of just eating them right into the open world. Right. Wow. Yeah, this place is on fire. Cabal! It's dead. <laughs> oh, they're they're teaching me how to play the game now. They're telling me how to aim down sights. See, this is what they should have done. You see why they should have kept it? Yes. Just tells people here what to do. Hey, you two. Give me a sec. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, who would be telling because they know I've done this before? date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna love Cade. Uh, he's got that uh, charisma. <laughs> just wait till you can go find him again. Not right. on this place, but a different place, but it'll be the best. Yeah, he just showed up and he's like, oh, hold on, give me a moment. Pew, pew, pew. Shot all the cabal by him. Search the trailer. Have they thought about how they destroyed his favorite noodle shop? Yeah, hold on. There's a lot of talk going on. Oh yeah. I'll take care of these people. If the cabal want war, give them war. You got it, sir. <laughs> We're gonna give cabal war, all right? Oh. Oh, it's such a basic auto rifle. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to use these. I want to use my good stuff. Thank you. I mean, does it dismantle into anything good? I don't know. I don't think I've ever it gives me 25 glimmer. <laughs> yeah, I showed you how much it was worth back, th back then. Oh, in the days. man. 
25 glimmer. Oh, hell yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got my huckleberry. It's it's pretty good. Actually, I need to get bow kills, so I should be doing that first. And I don't want to throw my grenade quite yet. And my right mouse button still trying to fade out on me. I need I think I'm going to need a new mouse soon. Right. Where else do I need to jump to? Oh no. That doesn't make sense. It tells me to jump. But I think it's mine, huh? It's telling me to jump up to a ledge, I guess. But there's a door oh. blocking my way, and I'm guessing. Do I need to jump on this pipe? No. Oh. Ha! <laughs> I, I feel stupid now. There's there's an open area where there's no netting, where there's no fencing. Uh, I feel stupid now. Oh wow. Yeah, these cabal are coming in, dishing out business. Yeah, it's very annoying. Oh, hey, drop pod. Splash me, please. Ooh. The moment you're just trying to get a quest done and it's not completing. Right. I can only imagine how this could have been if I played this earlier. Without the gear that I have, must be their command ship. Probably would have been easier. Really, without my current gear? Because you know, you stood up at 750. I would say it'd probably be the same depending on how you use your gear. Not yeah. too much of a difference in gameplay wise. That's fair. But it's like the first time I've ever, ever acquired white quality gear. Oh, you know, it's like it's like it's like white quality gear is no longer a thing in this in the new light. Yeah, it really isn't. Just assaulting the city. Look at the traveler. It was such a common thing back in the base game. Like when you start to start off, you get some white gear. Oh yeah, I bet. Okay, my ghost keeps tagging these cabal as Red Legion. Cora, what do you got? They're elite, ruthless, and rumor is they have never known defeat until today. Today they face guardians. Today the they Vala. face guardians. The traveler. Yes, they the do. Traveler weeps. We protect our people at any cost. Oh, hey, I see another player. <laughs> Their name huh? is Hyde. I see another player in here. Must be a public zone. Oh, probably, yeah. By the name. Back then it was, it was a little bit difficult. Right. They're under the name of Hydration. Oh, Zavala so wasn't the... Zavala wasn't too happy about getting killed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they oh, took man. out Zavala and he burned up, and they. Uh, we will hold, hold this on. line until the last civilian is safely away. Got, got it, Zavala. <laughs> Zavala went down, and as soon as I revived him, he goes, <laughs> telling him what's up. Like, yeah, so what? <laughs> I live. Don't let them pass the gate. The evac shuttles are back there. Zavala is really a teddy bear on the inside. We all know it. Uh, of course, everyone has their soft side. 
You just can't deny it. I mean, he does care for the people, so there, you might have it there. That's true. We hold here. That command ship is next on my list. And <laughs> we hold here. That command ship is next on my list. He, he, yeah. Zavala's angry. He's, he's ready. Stay inside my shield. I mean, who wouldn't be? This one place you protected the majority of your lifespan. Actually, the place that you get to help build up mm. was to, is being destroyed. Yeah. By something that's made by a, by a army that's made to conquer yep. systems. Very much. You, you have all this stuff. You have such a nice life, and the ball just say, "Ah, screw you." <laughs> you know what? Very we we want to take everything you own. Yeah, he has good reason to be angry. Last of the shuttles is away, but the speaker, he never made it. I'm going to look for him. I've got so I think the, uh, the, the at least the starting mission, the starting mission parts, um, do require you to um, do it by yourself because that's how it starts off. Right. That's understandable. Yeah, and then once we get past this part, well, uh, they we'll probably go into fire chamber. Yeah, they want you to at least experience the game a little bit. Yeah. You will take no more from us, and you will find no mercy in me. Ooh. Ikora taking out a ship. <laughs> She'll find the speaker. Oh yes. There he <laughs> bada boom boom. This is I'm sending a man to holiday to pick you up. This is when she had light left in her. Well you said like you said like she doesn't have it anymore. Uh well, I last spoke to her that her light left her. She lost her light. Oh, that is just weird. I spoke to her, not knowing these missions existed, and she oh, gave me information. Up, yeah. Did she, is it, I wonder if it's possible to get your light back. It is. Oh, then because, you know, it's because of certain circumstances that happened in the campaign that it was lost and we got it back. Gotcha, okay, cool. But I'm not gonna spoil that. I'm just gonna leave it at that, because you know yeah. it's kinda it's kind of a no die when you know you get to shout cave and they have other lights, so you're like, okay. Oh yeah, totally understandable. Someone told me you need a ride. Hey, it's the ship that I have now. Unless that was my ship and I was just, you know, thinking it was someone else's. Oh. <laughs> Which ship which ship are you talking about? Oh, a ship came up, but oh hold on, cinematic time. Zavala. Picked up that guardian you never showed up about? Get him on that command ship, now! Hold on back there! Come on, big guy. Do something. Yeah, we're gonna kick him where it hurts. And the balls. <laughs> yeah, <it's good. laughs> you'll kick, you'll kick a giant space pug. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let us know when the shields are down and we'll hit that I'm not letting that go, by the way. Like I, I, like, I know that's what we call her callus, but like, mm. he's a giant space pug through and through. And so are these guys. Oh, yes. Their drop pods are interesting, and their launching mechanism is kind of interesting as well. Very unique. Very unique. Wait, what hologram? Oh, that hologram. Schematics. The shield generator should be at the bottom of the ship. All right, let's destroy that shield generator.
love it. It's like these enemies expect to kill me, but I have all this exotic stuff now. <laughs> Legendary and exotic. Is there like I'm prepared? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, time. Uh, poor, poor Cade, running out of ammo. You know, if I could throw a box like 10 miles away, I would. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Very. Imagine playing a box that far with a kid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust the ball as far as I could throw it, though. What's that? I wouldn't trust the I would... If I could trust the ball as far as I could throw it, I wouldn't trust the ball at all. Right. Uh, hey, big dude. Will you allow me to finish you? Nah. But these little guys will. Oh, maybe not. There we go. What yeah. I really want... What I really want... What I, what I think was going to happen in the... Or the speculation about the third Destiny was... People being able to, you know how you have like the light, and then uh, you have people. It had talks about how, how uh, guardians to come to the darkness. Right. There is speculation. It was a very lovely theory I read online about how in the Destiny Three you would have been able to, you know, choose your path, light or dark. Oh, weird. Interesting. Yeah. And they would have liked it like if you chose dark, you would have gone a different, entirely different storyline because dark, when you use dark, or whatever you want to call it, dark magic, darkness, whatever. It corrupts you. Right. And so, they, 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 and it would have been known because the person who had Thorn, he was he was corrupt. He used to be a light bearer, and, he, and then he went rogue. Mm -hmm. And he and he killed guardians for their ghosts, I think. Or light, I don't know. He killed them though. And mm, interesting. I think the theory is a very long theory outline, and I was and I was reading on thinking that actually happened in Desert Three. I'd be Powered, because I mean, it was really good. Right, right. But yeah, I don't think it might, it might happen. It might not happen. I don't know. It would be really nice if you had the choice to choose between, you know, being a, have, using light or dark. That would be very crazy to think about. Yeah, and I think what would be funny is if you went in dark, your main quest would revolve around killing guardians because right. then you'd be the enemies of them. I wonder how your ghost would behave. I mean, there are some pretty evil ghosts, just saying. <laughs> and I don't think you'd actually have your ghost. Really? Because ghosts, ghosts are light. Oh. They light. So even if they can be dark, they always do it for the betterment of good. Well, no, I mean, like, they give you what you consider your light. Because mm. they're made by the Traveler, and the Traveler's magic is light, as you know, right. call it. And the, the the Traveler's enemy would be the dark, the darkness that kind of came up over the universe. But basically, I think the ghost would have to go, and maybe you'd be revived to like hive magic or something, like how they were trying to experiment in the first place. Right. Hmm. Well, that does sound interesting. I don't know. They could I go about it many ways, couldn't they? Oh, yeah. Zavala, we did it. The shields are down. As always. Zavala? Oh, God, I forgot. I haven't played the, this main campaign in, in such a long time. Yeah. There's a really slow part, though, when, when, you, when you get to it. Uh oh. It's more like you get, oh, you get, hold to on. get around with people. I think it's cinematic time. Oh, no wait. Oh yeah, cinematic. That looks so cool. <laughs> Very cool. How do we come back from this? You don't. Oh. That's a big bad cabal. Without light. Oh my. Guardian, 
Something's wrong. No! My ghost is down. I'm weakened. So you're at the part where he kind of took away your light. Yeah. Look at me, creature. You are weak, undisciplined, cowering behind walls. You're not brave. You've merely forgotten the fear of death. Allow me to reacquaint you. Oh, there goes your ghost. Your kind never deserve the power you were given. I am gold. The mere light is mine. Ah, oh, jeez. Brutal. I know. He, he just kicks you. Yeah, no kidding. Holy moly. So it started out like this. Yep. <laughs> wow, that's uh that's actually powerful right there. Cuz you know, you, you start playing the game thinking, "Oh yeah, I'm kicking all these bad guys, you know. I'm kicking them in their butts. I'm ready to kill them." And then come back to the story and you're like, "Wait, what?" Yeah. We lost our light. We're so weak. What's going on? And what happened was you start off with a certain power level. Whoa, hold on. Hmm? Is the traveler crashing down? I couldn't figure that out. And that's a shard of the traveler or a piece of him. Oh. It's almost like, almost like constellations. Ah, yeah. uh, it's a touchy moment because the music is so perfect for the theme. Mm. I love oh, good yeah. music, man. It still gets me the chills. Ah, uh, really touchy music can get to me sometimes. <laughs> I've got emotions too. <laughs> the last city, two days after the attack. Oh man. Oh man. My character is so weak. I don't have any more shields. There's a bunch of cabal everywhere. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Surprised, uh, to even survive, managed to survive that fall. You mean your ghost? No, yourself. Oh. I mean, that was quite a drop. I don't know where I'm going, but I think I'm going the right way. Hopefully you are. Oh, toppled over. Is this going to be a stealth mission? Um, no, if you're wondering. Like, I would have loved for it to be a stealth mission, but it isn't. I kid you not, though, when I first started out, I was like, I was just like being all stealthy. I was like, gotta stealth my way to these. Nope, you don't have to. Alright, yeah, because I saw a ship, but they also gave you overhead cover. Oh, 
Wait, I think I think my ghost is actually still alive. Yeah. Ah, oh, the light is back. But I can't resurrect you. Not since. I've got no ammo. The light is gone. They've taken the city. The traveler. Everything. The Red Legion is killing powerless guardians. I'm picking up an emergency broadcast. Rendezvous coordinates. They're evacuating the planet. We're on our own. Boy, that is a touchy-feely moment. Having all your power stripped away like that. Now you're just... You're a normal human being now. Without any power. Guardians. They had no chance without their powers. That could be us. Guardian, if you die, I can't resurrect you. We need to be very careful. I'm in. So, how's it going for you? It's a sorrowful moment right now. Uh, they've got this music playing. It's so touchy feely. Follow your vision. I can't... I can't even sprint. I guess this is as fast as I can go without powers. One week after the attack. Gosh dang, we are going far. Again. Is it following us? Or are we following it? Man, you can see the Traveler from here. You can see how it's just wrapped around the entire thing. Sorry about that, I'm back. Yes, it's, it, it is especially sad. Mm -hmm. We have to play through the campaign. I guess, in a, I guess in a sense it is kind of sad when you don't, and that's how you start off. Like, right. doesn't it really, it doesn't have that much of an effect if you don't start off that way. Mm-hmm. So it's, but it's fun. Also, it reminds me of 
Sarah, my new, don't forget you have new abilities. Yep. Ooh, guess what just saw hop on? Destiny 2. Yep, yep. Saw that earlier. the edge a little bit. So what happened? I walked across the log and it almost made me clip the edge for just a moment. Oh. That would not have been fun. Oh. What? Well. Oh, I guess I was supposed to do that. Yeah, it's well, called the fake objective to get you to head towards it. Yo. <laughs> I see how they do that. That's our cue. Time to go, people! I thought that was very sneaky on their part. Yeah, that's... That's very sneaky. From here as possible. Is... Is uh, he able to access the music channel? I can, I can add him. I'll add him real quick. I believe so, but... Please don't play any music. <laughs> oh, no, I won't play any music. And this is Lewis. Best pilot we've got. What about you? Fit to fly? Probably gonna need one of these too. Time to make yourself a new pump shotgun. All right, people, spin them up. Got a long flight ahead of us. Oh, is it? Ooh. For a moment. Grace me with your light. Take your place at the center of my empire. See me, and the Red Legion will be your true guardians. Dominus, the city is secure. Those who fled are being hunted. And those foolish enough to remain have been executed. Victory, as will all things, is yours to claim. This victory is as much yours as mine, Lord Friend. All that remains is the completion of the cage around this great machine. Then we may begin the extraction of its power and put it to its rightful use. They call it the Traveler. I would contend that other civilizations may be more precise in their naming. Its functions can be controlled and exploited, as we have so clearly proven. Yet they believe it to be a god. Dominus. Gore. We have spent our lives, you and I, Working to reshape our society, reforge our people, rebuild an empire nearly destroyed by Callus's greed and corruption. There is nothing in this universe greater than you. The Red Legion will have that machine's power. You will be called Emperor. What more would the Dominus have? I would have words with my guest. Ooh. 
Mm -hmm. Someone speaks specifically for the traveler. Like the traveler speaks unto this singular person, and now Dominus has this person in captivity. Well, you see, that's a play on words, actually. What I like about it is because he speaks for the traveler, it doesn't mean the traveler speaks to him. Right, gotcha. Although but he, I think, I, I, that's right. where we're supposed to go. That thing? They call it the Shard of the Traveler. I call it not a place you want to go poking around. Ah, uh, the farm. Such humble beginnings. I know. So we'd be back here too. Woo wee! Well, that has been quite an adventure already. <laughs> and there's much more to come. There is definitely much more to see. Well, it's already been 42 minutes worth of gameplay and awesome, touching cinematics. I tell you what, the normally... I don't usually let lots of fictional things get to me, but when they have a really good story, yeah. I really, yeah. Yeah. You can't help it, it gets to you. Especially with the music. Music is definitely very influential it's for me. The atmosphere. It does. All right, well. Thank you, people, those who have watched. I really hope that you enjoyed just as much as I have enjoyed going through just this first part here. Um, I hope that I can provide more videos of this in the future, which more than likely I will. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'm really at a wash, loss for words right now because it's just stunning. They've really done a great job with what they have. Yeah. All right. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you all again next video. And see you then.